What's up, guys? Got a cool ST3600 build to show off. This is on that Seagull platform that I've been doing uh, with the Panerai cases. So this one is a little special. We did a full loom dial um, brass plague doctor. So had this uh, acid etched out. I loomed it in uh, blue and then dropped it into this black PVD case. So stock case, um, stock buck case back. Uh, it's the ST3600 movement, which is a, a clone 6497. Uh, and then black leather with a white stitching on here, black buckle, uh, black Cerakoted buckle here. And then since this was a full loom dial, I did something that you'd see the hands easily uh, at night. So just solid hands, no loom in those hands. And I don't know if we have enough light to even show this off. But we should have that kind of like flash kind of look to it here, even though it is nice and bright outside. So, blue loom, and then concentrated um, standard blue loom. Um, the blue that the blue that I did. Uh, Back here is the blue mix that I use and blue pigment. This is just the blue that I use, and it shows better on blue because there's actually that loom under there as well. So a lot of times the blue that I use is just more of a kind of a white color. So <coughs> doing it that way, you at least get to see a little bit of separation there in those loom colors. And then AR coated glass, we had a nice reflection pop there for a minute, but looks pretty awesome. And it's taken a minute for Zach to get this because this package with this dial had been sitting, what, in Poland for a month and a half? But, um, but yeah, man, I got something in my throat. <coughs> Just itching. Back left side, driving me nuts. Um, so another thing with these is they have a bit of a washer under this. And there is a bit of a washer when you screw this down. But that's all done. This is done by hand. And that's held down with this. Uh, actually, I haven't gotten into that part yet. But in a nutshell, these are not as waterproof as I like. I normally do them on leather, so most of the time you're not going to take them in water anyway. But... Um, these are only rated for like 5 ATM, so I don't even know if I'd trust that because this is just held in with this compression, and you got to have it backed off just a little bit so that there's tension with this arm. So there is a gasket in there around the stem, but I don't know, just a little sketch to me. It's not uh, um, held on with compression like my other ones are. So <clears throat> this is a wind. Uh, only movement. Um, you can try and wind it from right here, but a lot of times you just want to take that pressure off. So wind is just a turn. And I've never actually verified if you can turn it both ways. So I just turn it one way. But this thing's got a crazy long power reserve on it. And it is a little tedious to wind this thing. So what you want to do is you want to get where your fingers are rolling through it as much as possible. So it's got like over 50 hour power reserve on it. So you're just gonna wind and wind and wind. And then when you hit that spot like I did where you can't wind anymore, don't wind anymore because you will destroy the mainspring. You'll reach under, pull it out. You see you've got spacing all around there. And now you can set your time. Clockwise turning it turns it clockwise. Counterclockwise turns it counterclockwise. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 11 18 a.m. 11 18 a.m. When you're good, flip that lever over. 
it puts that pressure on there closes that off I mean you could do it by hand if you want and then flip it over but you can just run it through the lever and that is it that is your build sir as with every build you get matching beads and she actually grabbed some loom beads so obviously these will loom blue to match for you you can see in the back there and these actually match your blue one there pretty good by themselves as with every build comes with watch cleaner this is good on all glass and metal parts so the watch part in the middle and some leather strap here keeps this leather strap perfectly soft just apply it on the front back let it soak in remove any excess uh, only if you feel that this strap is getting a little rough and then lastly your microfiber keep that AR coated glass looking pretty so uh that's your build, man. Thank you so much for waiting on it. Uh, had everything waiting on that dial for so long, and then dial came out pretty awesome. That was, uh, honestly, that was a single pass and a sand, and it was perfect. I didn't have to go back in and fill or anything like that. So um, I was really happy with the way that dial came out. So I hope you love it, Zach. And uh, if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out. I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.